Greetings fellow Wargamers, uh, welcome new subscribers, thank you for coming on board and uh, for supporting the channel. Uh, you're welcome to uh, hit like or, or comment uh, below the video. And today what I want to do is just give you guys an update. Uh, I've been posting a lot this week and uh, there was just a lot to show uh, work going on in the channel and stuff. So, uh, today I just want to give you an update of the finished Hydra. And this is my sculpture. I've been working on this for almost two weeks now. And now, uh, basically, the Hydra is attached to its base. I have to continue work on the base here. And I'm probably going to decorate it with some skulls and some maybe some stone debris, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so some of the new things that I added, I added all of these spines and finished the heads. And the heads, I gave them uh, forked tongues, more serpent-like. And there is detail inside the mouth as well. So I will be painting that. Okay. And then you have, um, you have another forked tongue there. And then you have one mouth that is completely op uh, closed here. And basically... Uh, all the heads are a little bit different, and that's the way I like them. Uh, I added a sail, a little bit of a sail going on here. I'm going to be painting all that. Um, and now I have to decide on the color uh, for the Hydra. So I, I'm not sure yet what color I'm going to do it. Um, other than that, I think what I was thinking about was using this chain, right? And then figuring out, maybe putting a, a, a couple of collars on some of the heads. And then draping that chain, connecting that chain, you know, between the heads. To kind of uh, say, you know, this is a creature that's being unleashed onto the enemy, you know. So maybe have like the chain come down and, and have it like broken or something. Uh, so there will be like a handler figure associated with this uh, Hydra, you know, something like that. And I'm thinking of doing a uh, an underground battle for probably closer to midsummer, maybe end summer, and it's going to be a major project. And uh, this Hydra figure would go very well with like a dark elf army, or maybe with a like a lizard man army right a cold one army so uh, yeah it definitely has its place in the collection so now i'm going to be busy painting this i i gotta fix up the base adorn the base get it all painted up and by the next time you guys see it uh it'll be all painted and probably as part of an army uh let me know what you guys think about the chain uh you know it I may just leave it like this, just like a wild hydra, or, uh, you know, put the chain, figure out a way to wrap the chain around and, you know, say, this is an unleashed creature. I think that would be pretty cool, too. So, all right, folks, I wanted to give an update on this project and show uh, the figure that I've been working on for almost two weeks now show its completion. So, there you go. Okay, and just to add a little bit more to this update, uh, to make it a five-minute update, um, Julie and I are going to be going over this rule set sometime soon, so maybe sometime this week. Uh, we'll have a video, show the book, show the rules, and uh, we want to try playing uh, this game. It's a fun game. I've played it before. Um, and I have some of the ships, but I will be building my own ships. In fact, I'm planning a whole uh, new faction, and I'm going to be taking measurements of these models so that my ships are similar to the models. Uh, this is a dead game, right? So uh, whatever I create for it will be extra. And then uh, once I create my Navy ships, I'll have a, a couple of videos on how I create them and how I make them and everything else. And it's probably going to be uh, one of my foam uh, projects, 
right? I have some foam vehicles already in the um, channel, and I'm just going to add some more uh, by making these ships. So we'll see what I come up with, and you can expect that soon. And then Julie and I will hit the uncharted seas and battle each other.